The Mills Brothers. The Mills Brothers are considered to be one of the greatest vocal jazz and pop groups of the 20th century. Their recordings combined sold more than 50 million copies and garnered at least three dozen gold records. But before the rest of the world knew about the brothers, it was here in Piqua, Ohio, where they were born and raised. Their parents were John Hutchinson Mills Sr. and Ethel Mills. John Sr. owned a barber shop here in the town square. The boys got their humble start performing for customers in front of the shop. Here on the corner of Green and Main, the Mills brothers performed for coins when they were teenagers. This singing spot was the perfect location on Main Street as their house was only a block away. Taking a right at their singing corner on Green and Main, we head down Green Street, and within a minute's walk, we come upon the corner of Green and Spring Street. Here, what is now a parking spot, is where the Mills family lived in a two-story framed house. It's not hard to imagine the boys coming home from school and walking up the short block to Main Street where they made pocket change performing for those passing by. As the boys grew older, they began singing in the choir of the Cyrene African Methodist Episcopal Church. And as the family grew, they attended the Spring Street School that was just across the street from this church. Not far from the church once stood May's Opera House. It was at this venue that the Mills Brothers had their first professional break. They would sing during the intermissions for the movie Ren Tin Tin. One fateful night, Brother Harry forgot his kazoo, which was the group's usual accompaniment. To make do, Harry cupped his hands together and produced a remarkable imitation of a trumpet. From here on out, the group began imitating musical instruments, which became a trademark of their early music. Then, in 1928, after playing May's Opera House in Piqua between Ren Tin Tin Features, they accompanied the Harold Greenemeyer Band to Cincinnati for an audition with radio station WLW. The band was not hired, but the brothers were. Once their unique sound and beautiful melodies were heard over the airways, life for the boys from Piqua would never be the same. They'll be remembered for their unforgettable music that stands the test of time. And mountains that we must climb. I know every gain must have a loss. So pray that our loss is nothing but time till then. Let's dream of what there will be till then. We'll call on each.